Hello guys, I have another video for you. This is a video on my um, latest haul and an update on me moving. I know my thing at the back, um, my room's a bit of a tip at the moment because I'm packing and sorting things out. But um, I want to show you my latest haul. But the quick update is, um, I thought it was Wednesday, this Wednesday, but it's actually this Tuesday at 9.15. I've got to go to um, pop into town, go to the um, place where I've got to pick the keys up from a new flat. So it'll be Tuesday, get the keys. And then I've got until the end of the month to move in there. So I'm going to be slowly moving my stuff in there. So I'm going to be getting as um, many videos as I can, because I've got the flat to myself, because the flatmate's buggered off to his mother. So I'm going to try and get as many videos as the unboxing videos and stuff and get a load done. I've sadly had to cancel, um, I think there was like 12 pre-orders off Amazon. So I've got like one more pre-order coming up, which turning up um, within like four days, which is the Dream Theatre, the Lost Not Forgotten Archives. But other than that, I've had to cancel it all because I'm having to try and work out the funds for the new place at the moment. So um, yeah, so once I've sorted the funds out and all that sort of stuff and worked, say, the bills and all that majority out, then I'll be... Um, back to normal and i'll be doing more unboxing videos and stuff but at the moment as i said i get a load done of the ones that are in a pile and then i'll put all them on my youtube channel to keep me going until i'm in my new place and then i'll be doing an update and showing you so i have um five cds two vinyl and two cassettes and the, f the first thing i'll show you is the two cds that i found at um work um a beatles album not sure which one this is it just says the Beatles, so I don't know if it's an um, official studio album or compilation or something like that, but as I said, I've been meaning to check these out more, but I've heard one or two songs over the um, past, and they're all right, what I've heard, so I thought it's a great way to check them out for free without having to pay for anything. I know you can listen to them on Spotify, but I thought, nah, I'll give that a listen. And then the next one, the box is a bit, um, the CDs are in good condition, but the box is a bit mucky, so it just needs a good bit of TLC. And this one's a Jimi Hendrix three disc um set so it's got like most of his hits and it looked like a couple of the tracks are live and it just is some unreleased or something so live recordings um re-recording cd3 and then you get some unreleased and stuff so you know like stuff said unreleased and whatnot so I'm not sure so that's going to be an interesting um listen and then two cassettes it's part one and two and this is the Reader's Digest favourites from the classics of um, Tchaikovsky, which is cool because I do love my classical. And now for my Amazon haul, this is, as I said, this will be my last haul for quite a while. Um, first one is Westgate Under Fire, which is a new dub war album. Um, Benji Webb from Skindred, that was his former band. It's been like 20 something years, I believe, that they, they've released a um, dub war album, so it's their new album. I've listened to most of it and I love it, especially um, War in a Babylon and a Black Man. Um, I love, love the album. It's somewhat completely different to the usual metal because this is like a mixture of um, reggae, dub, um, metal, hard rock, um, classic rock and punk and a bit of everything in there. It's so it's somewhat completely different, so I was happy to get that one in my collection and give it more of a listen. Plus, I love Skin Dread. I've got 90% of their albums. Then the next one is um, Totem, and that's a new Soulfly album. I really can't wait to um, listen to this album. I've not listened to nothing off this yet. I thought I'll get the album first and give it a listen. Max Cavalera is a legend. I have the entire Max Cavalera era of Sepultura on CD and vinyl, and then I have the entire Soulfly back catalogue on CD. So strangely, I have no Soulfly on vinyl, so that's got to be changed soon because I will be getting some of their stuff and if I can find like um some of their earlier stuff like free or something like that on vinyl that'll be cool but absolutely can't wait to listen to this and I do want to get a copy on vinyl and then this next three is the same band and this is the Great Heathen Army which is the new Amon Amarth album so there's the Digipack edition I know you can get a box edition with various things so I'm going to pick that up at a later date but um for now I thought yep and they're playing on tour with Machine Head as it's just on a sticker. So they're playing in the UK. I think they're doing like three dates. So I'm going to see if I can try and get to that if I've got available funds. Because my next gig is next month. Um, September the 12th or something like that or 11th. Or whatever it is on a Saturday. And I'm off to Wolverhampton to KK Steel Mill. Which is KK from um, Judas Priest. Um, Steel Mill. So I'm going to be seeing a band called Battle Beast. 
power metal band Nora is absolutely fantastic I've seen the band twice they're incredible so that's my um next gig and then these two vinyl are the same album but on vinyl I got the both which somebody says why do I have to get the both of them this one is 180 gram black vinyl and then this one is the fur off white marbled vinyl I know they've done like eight different variants of the vinyls but they are one of my favorites and absolutely love the band so it was obvious um I snapped these up and for anybody who doesn't know much about this I do highly recommend a track called Saxons and Vikings I highly recommend it because it's a duet song as if you want to call it a duet and this song is done with Saxon the band Saxon so Biff and crew are actually on that song which is absolutely awesome it's I don't really want to swear just in case of um you know YouTube in case I have me but it's bloody incredible such an absolute a great song and this album's awesome I've actually listened to Get In The Ring The Great Heathen Army them two are absolutely great and I like um Schools Skaggle Rides With Me I've actually listened to this on digital because I couldn't wait for the album to um, turn up. So I've played the digital quite a lot. But I'm going to be doing a video on these two and the CD. So I'll be doing an unboxing video on the Amano Marth as soon as possible. And I'll probably be doing them tomorrow and getting them out of the way. A load of um, unboxing videos of a pile of stuff. So yeah, this has been my latest haul and that was my update on my move. So hopefully the move goes okay. I've been moving stuff slowly and it's going to take me a while to get all my entire CD collection um, sorted because it's all in A to Z. So my plan is, is when I get into the new flat, I will put them all on the, um, in a pile and I'll be doing like um, 24, 20 some piles and it'll be like A to Z. So I'll be just sticking all the artists from A and A and then I'll be pulling them all like that. And then I'll be going for each artist and pulling them in order. And then when I've got my bookcase set up and my new one, I'll be putting them both on there. So it's going to take me a, lot, a couple of weeks to get set up. But I'll still be doing a few videos. It just may be a bit of a tip at the moment with CDs stacked up in poles and vinyl and stuff. Close to, um, I've done quite a bit of packing. I just need to do all these CDs on here. So there's loads, um, hell of a lot of CDs to go through. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and it, hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, I'm actually wearing my Ed Guy Space Police Defenders of the Crown to a t-shirt at the moment. 2014 was, um, was the last time I seen these and that was a Space Police tour um, for the album Space Police Defenders of the Crown. But the annoying thing, Tobias Summit has put it on a hold at the moment because he's more interested in focusing on Avantasia. New Avantasia album, absolutely can't wait, but it's just a bit of a pain that I want to listen to the new Avantasia, but I love it, but I want a new Ed Guy album so bad. So hope you guys enjoyed this um, video on my latest haul. I'll, be, as I said, I'll be posting a load of unboxing videos just to tie me over for while I'm moving. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. So take care and stay safe.